One has always wanted to know more about one's family tree, which is why one decided to appear on this television programme. So, Your Majesty, I've been working through your family records. Yes. And I found an entry here for your great-great-grandmother. And what was her name? <laughs> queen Victoria. And what did she do? She was the queen. You're joking. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Little old one related to royalty. <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. And when was this Queen Victoria the queen? Uh, she was the ruler of Great Britain and Ireland from 1837 to 1901. So in Victorian times? <laughs> Yes, Queen Victoria, that's the word. Victorian. Oh, well, one learns something new every day. And was she named after the pub in EastEnders? <laughs> Records suggest it was the other way around. Ah, one sees. And uh, she was married to your great-great-grandfather. And what was his name? Prince Albert. And was he named after the gentleman's piercing? Again, records suggest it was the other way around. Very interesting. And their grandson was your grandfather, King George V. And what did he do? He was the king. Another one? You're having a laugh. Oh, see. <laughs> One's in danger of getting rather big-headed. One's family tree seems to be chock-a-block with kings and queens. Uh, yes. And he had two sons, the younger of whom was King George VI. Shove off from the king's speech. <laughs> That's correct, your father. My father's Colin Firth. Uh, no. Colin Firth played your father in the film. So one isn't related to Colin Firth? No. Well, that's a shame. I would have rather liked to have had famous blood in the family. <laughs> One's really very glad one did Who Does One Think One Is? This morning, one thought one was just an ordinary OAP who liked to flutter on the Gigi's and the gin and dew bonnet. I was always curious as to why everyone bowed and curtsied to one and how one could afford to live in such an enormous house, and now one knows. Now, if you'll excuse me, one has to go to the balcony and wave at the people. One doesn't really know why, but they seem to like it. <laughs> we're not storming out, we're walking purposefully, so no one from the BBC has to resign. <laughs>